Hey, what is good you guys? I am Jaydeep and welcome back to JD Journal. So before we start today's video, uh, thank you for subscribing and helping me reach my first 100 subscribers. And if you are still one of those people who haven't subscribed, do consider doing the same and leave a like and comment on the videos and also share it with your friends. So uh, the topic of today's video is going to be about hash values. So uh, why hash values is there's two things. Uh, the one thing which you missed out in tuples is how can you ensure that the tuples which are subs uh, you know uh, supplied as inputs to your functions uh, are perfectly immutable. That is, they don't break your code. And the next uh, data types which we're going to discuss that is sites and dictionaries. They make use of hashing to uh, store and search data uh, because they uh, you know set store unique data and dictionaries ha can only have unique uh, keys. So that is why they make uh, you know uh, heavy uses of hashing, and we, uh, it would be uh, good to uh, know what hash values are. So uh, hash values are just uh, uh, set, you know uh, hash values are just integers which are uh, uniquely used to identify a particular set of data, and they never, almost never, are similar. There could be a case of hash collisions, but with the 64-bit architecture, uh, I don't think that is a case. Even if I attempted to do um, a hash of say ABC. I don't think I'd ever get the uh, same value of anything. I wouldn't uh, by any chance get uh, the same hash value for any uh, two distinct values. So yeah, so coming back to uh, so coming back to tuples. So uh, as we're discussing the video for tuples, I'll leave the link to the uh, in the description if you've already uh, if you haven't already watched it, and also in the i button. The i button should be somewhere in the top left or top right, depending on where you're sitting. For me, it's top left. For you, it will be top right. Yeah. So uh, tuples. I hope this is visible. Uh, so tuples. Uh, you know, if there's a tuple which has say value one, two, three and then this four and five so this is a tuple which is coming as an input to one of your functions now if you if you just look at it this looks wrong that is a tuple is supposed to be immutable and the data which is stored within them should not change but this tuple has a, a, a list as its element and this is not a very good example and this could uh, some way uh, down the line break your code so what you can do to prevent against this is use the hash function which is inbuilt so if you do a try, so let's just uh, jump over here and so top A is equal to 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5. And if you do a try, 1, 2, 3, 4, use the hash function on the double A, except exception as E, 1, 2, 3, 4, print, in exception and concatenate it to string of error oh we forgot to close it so this is so if you see this tuple a has given an exception that it is an unhashable type list so this is how you can use the hash function and protect your code against bad data which is being supplied so this is one thing now moving on to the next usage that is why uh, hashing is uh, it is important to study hash values is uh, for uh, studying sets and dictionaries as we saw you know uh, as i stated before sets and dictionaries uh, sets are used for storing unique values and dictionaries are used for uh, storing data as key and value where keys need to be unique and they need to be hashable what i mean by hashable is that if you uh, if you do something like hash of say abc it should return a hash value but if you do something uh, say hash of this list one two three then this is an unhashable type that is python cannot uniquely identify this data or cannot assign a hash value to it so this is what i mean by hashable data that is it should be uh, python should be able to assign anything uh, a unique value to it so uh, how does hashing help achieve you know implement sets and dictionaries so we'll go over an example of set only uh, the dictionary keys remains the same so uh, what uh, we have here is called as a bucket and uh, in the bucket uh, so it is a two dimensional array uh, and it has a hash code and the pointer to the element so what python will do is suppose you want to store uh, this array or this element so what python will do is it will take this element and try to hash it so uh, <clears throat> So how python will work stepwise is the first step would be it will try to hash this element monday and this hash value would be uh, <clears throat> uh, 
a mod of this hash value would be taken and then uh, so what so for monday this would be hash of monday and percent divided by 8 so by default python uses a bucket of size 8 right so this will only have eight uh, eight rows and it will uh, find the mod so whatever the value comes up so um, say let's hash percent 8 so this is the 5 so monday will be stored in the fifth place so here is where monday will go uh, i have to put a text value here monday will go here right uh, well not exactly and this is how it will happen edit copy this would uh, and here we'll have monday now if you repeat this for the next value so hash of tuesday so this is uh, let me quickly copy it uh, right i don't know where to store it so let's do a hash uh, hash of tuesday and then percent eight so it came as to zero so it will store in the zeroth location that is here so let me quickly do here tuesday and let me copy the hash value Oh, also what i forgot to mention is anything which is blank is minus one by default so all this would be minus one it will only be replaced by a value once it's filled in right so this is how uh, hash uh, so we will uh, check out for a few more so hash of wednesday and hash of wednesday percent eight and this is four so this will go into the fourth location so this will now be uh, replaced uh, i don't want to rub this up. i'll just do here so this is uh, this is what happened and this would be wednesday So this is how python uh, this is how a set would be implemented using the uh, hash values now why uh, i've taken this as percent eight is because that is the uh, that is the length of this bucket that it can it can con contain only eight elements and uh, percent eight and just do uh, hashtag the general rule is hash of element to be stored mod of 8 because that is the default starting that is the default starting length which python takes when the bucket is two third then the bucket is incremented so that it is always one third empty so this is the general rule that for uh, for a starting point of any uh, you know, uh, any set or dictionary uh, the uh, bucket which is initialized will all, uh, always be uh, uh, the length of the length eight and it will always be two third filled only as long as there's only one third of the elements left python would increase the uh, size of this bucket and that would become 16 and so on so now uh, we have seen that how uh, these elements are added now consider what happens if i tr try to do hash of monday that is i try to add a duplicate element in a set so uh, i try to add a duplicate element in a set so the hash value um, if you see here has come out the same and by virtue if you do percent 8 
the hash value would come again 5 and then python would know that okay at the 5 element i already have this um, i already have um, uh, this element stored now you would ask one more thing that how do you know so uh, right uh, so coming back to uh, this so in python equality of an object means two things that is it has to satisfy both the hash values and the equality so suppose uh, in this case monday is similar to this monday both in terms of hash value and the data type so this is a string and the hash value has also come out similar that is why it knows that it's duplicate and this is how hash values are used uh, so this is how a set would be formed in python and this would be similar to the keys of a dictionary this also helps in searching the elements that is now suppose uh, we just print out set a uh, just to confirm if we try to add set a dot add monday uh, this won't be added you only see there's only one occurrence of this but if you try to add something like say saturday this would more uh, more than happy this would be this would more than happily be added right so uh, this hashing algorithm also or the hash function also helps us to search these elements uh, with a time complexity of o of one so if you want to search anything so say saturday in set of a this will give you true so this again to search this it again follows the hashing algorithm that it does hash of saturday let's do saturday percent eight and if it will try and go and find it at seven similarly hash of monday percent eight so it, it knows that it has to go and find it at the index 5 of the bucket uh, so that is it for this video guys this was all about uh, hash values in python the reason why we studied it for two things the first thing is you can pass the uh, the incoming tuples to a hash function and if they contain any mutable data then you can save yourself uh, by uh, catching that exception the second reason is the next data types which are going to study sets and dictionaries they make use of hashing to store data sets only store unique data and dictionaries have key value pairs where the keys are supposed to be unique and yeah so uh, if you are curious about the internal implementation of a set then uh, let me quickly write it down here so uh, a hash for monday so hash for tuesday would look like a hash of tuesday uh, percent eight or the mod not the percent uh, and so on wednesday is equal to hash of wednesday mod of eight eight so the general rule is, as a starting point would have a bucket of uh, eight rows uh, the length would be eight and it would be filled with minus one as default and as you calculate the hash value and whatever is uh, uh, at the mod of that hash value whatever index we get the value would be stored here to ensure that no duplicate data is stored if you try to insert monday here again the hash of monday percent 8 would always result in the same hash value and since monday is already present uh, python would discard it so this is how hashing is useful this is how internals of a set work it is good to know um, so that you know you know, uh, have the uh, working knowledge of internals of a language how they work it is always a good to know feature this video can be skipped if you are not as concerned about how the sets or dictionary is implemented so yeah uh, that is it Again, uh, that's it for this video guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, again, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, do consider doing the same. And yeah, thank you. Until next time. Bye-bye.